Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I wanted to show you my six scale figure display um, and just get into it again. This is from Ikea. So pick this up, literally bought it, assembled it. It was a little bit difficult to do on my own. I guess you're supposed to use two people, but I did myself. But I want to show you guys all the figures, kind of the story of where I got it, my thoughts, and yeah, we'll get into it. So opening up the glass right there, just want to show you guys on the top. Um, this is from the Empire Strikes Back. It's actually a storyboard. It is signed, um, and I forget who signed it, Dennis Murin. Um, so pretty cool. Really like that. It's a great little piece. Shout out to my brother for getting me that. Really nice of him. So let's get into it. If you guys could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Peace out. Bye. I believe this from the New Hope. Um, amazing figure by Sideshow. I heard Hot Toys is coming out with a new C-3PO. I think that would be pretty cool. I guess it's all die cast. Of course, everyone's going to buy it. But personally, I'm fine with this right here. You do have these light up eyes, which are really nice. So really like that a lot. It's um, touch sensitive. It's so really cool. Um, just did a review on that, but really amazing. Again, no die cast in it, but looks really, really nice. Love the coloring. Um, we have the wires that are right there. The hands, which you can actually adjust. Uh, moving down to the legs, great coloring. I didn't know this in the movie, but one of his legs is actually silver, so that's pretty cool. It's good to know, but really awesome figure. I like it a lot, so yeah. C-3PO. Of course, Darth Vader. Now this is the Sideshow version. This is not the Hot Toys one. Um, I really like it. Everything really works just well for this figure. Um, there's really no problems that I have with it. Um, yeah, I mean, the only thing that I would probably say is just the stand, I think, is a little bit basic. But besides that, I mean, it's a great figure. Um, really no issues whatsoever um, with it, you know. It's Darth Vader. That's really all that I, I truly care about. It does have a little lightsaber that's on the side, so pretty cool. But yep, moving on to probably one of my favorite figures, kind of the ones maybe, or one that I kind of, I guess, really like. This is, of course, the uh, Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. Um, really, really nice. I'll try to move it over to the side. It just comes with a lot of detail. Um, the jetpack, of course, Jedi braids, um, weathering on the outfit. Again, what more could you ask? Hot Toys normally delivers, so really cool. We have that classic blaster in the position that he, you know, normally is in, the kind of cape that he has, and a really good base plate, which, again, I wish Sideshow would just do a little bit better of a job with name like plates. I feel like that's something that they normally lack, but um, pretty soon I will have Han Solo and Chewbacca right here, so that'll be really cool. May put them lower down. I don't know yet. Um, if you guys are curious with the lighting, um, I will put down in the description the light that I used and also the IKEA thing. Maybe for every figure if you're curious where to get them. But really cool. Um, so yep, that's kind of like the Star Wars kind of side. All right, so moving down, <laughs> um, I know you see two different you know characters from different movies. Um, the reason being is you know Orlando Bloom was in Pirates of the Caribbean, so I guess that's kind of why I put him in. Already zooming in, you guys can see how amazing this figure actually is. This is the DX15, I believe, or 06. I'm not sure. Um, Captain Jack Sparrow by Hot Toys. What a legendary figure. This thing is insane. Like, if I just took a photo right there, you would think that that's Jack Sparrow. The amount of detailing, uh, the clothing, everything is just so good. You have the swords, um, die-cast sword. It's just incredible, the hand gestures, as well as this massive, um, again, like, plate. This is from Stranger Tides, but again, just really nice. Comes with this huge wheel that actually moves. So, what an amazing figure! Really rare, hard to find. Got it for a great price. Um, in the back, probably one of my favorite like movie lines ever was Lord of the Rings. But 
Personally, I think Asmus Toys does not do a great job with their figures, but this is the Legolas version from Asmus. Um, it's Legolas, of course, but there are definitely some flaws. I think Asmus is probably one of the weaker companies, in my opinion. Ended up throwing out my Gandalf from them. Don't want to talk about it, but just horrible. Um, another thing from Asmus, which I think is probably... Or actually, no, this is not Asmus. What am I talking about? This is from Damn Toys, um, and this is of the... Um, uh, the Godfather. So really amazing. Pose probably could be a little bit better. Um, but this is really, really nice. The Godfather comes with the chair, the table, a bunch of accessories. Yeah, just looks awesome. Decided to put Michael Jackson right here. Um, is there a reason? Not really. Just felt like, you know, putting Michael Jackson here. What a cool figure by Hot Toys. This is obviously of the Beat It version. Um, just really nice. That's really all I can say. I'm using um, the Godfather stand for Michael Jackson. You know, he's just so epic, but just amazing figure. Really love it. So, yeah. Moving down to the last part right here. We have Iron Man. I am forgetting which Iron Man this is, but uh, um, yeah, really cool. I think it's like the Mark 85. I want to say. We also have the um, Spider-Man Far From Home version, the upgraded suit, so really cool. And we have Ric Flair right here in all of his glory as well as some comic books in the back. So, you know, um, not everything is like perfectly organized, but really cool. Um, so again, this is my little collection of Sideshow, Hot Toys, Damn Toys, different figures you know but yeah it's my collection now there is one figure that i am currently waiting for in the mail and that is the in art joker um rooted hair but i only got the one that comes with the prison scene because the prices are just insane find a good deal but once that comes out there'll be a review and i may have to either put it on top or somewhere because i guess the base plate is really big so anyways thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.